hello everyone welcome to our channel i hope you all are doing fine today we are going to learn about how to make a long shadow design in adobe illustrator before that if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please kindly subscribe to our channel now and hit the bell icon to get notifications about our future videos Okay, let's start out today's tutorial video on making a long shadow design on Adobe Illustrator. For that, let's go to Adobe Illustrator first. So you can see when we will finish designing the long shadow, uh, it will look like this. So let's open a new file and get started. So let's first open a new Illustrator file. Okay, let's start with the basic settings. and let's write a text let's write something like long okay and let's correct the alignments let's go to the alignments and take it to the center okay let's draw a rectangle for the background change the color of the rectangle okay and now arrange it to the back send it to the back send it the rectangle to the back now we can actually lock this layer of the rectangle as we don't have work with this we are going to work with the object in front that's long shadow text this is our main object we are going to make long shadow effect on this object uh, written as uh, text object which is long shadow so go to the layer option and we can lock this rectangle for our designing convenience now we have to select this text object and then go to effect after going to effect we need to go to distort and transform from distort and transform we need to go to transform let's select transform then we need to move this horizontally one pixel then vertically one pixel and we need to make copies of this object so let's first create 200 copies let's see what happens let's see the preview if we make 200 copies it will not cover the whole rectangular area in the back so it will not cover the whole box so to cover the whole box let's increase the number of copies let's make 400 copies and see what happens yes uh, if we make 400 copies the box is going to be covered the shadow is going to cover the edges of the box so we can go with 400 copies you can change the number of copies as far you need as far the size of your artboard or the rectangular shape or anything respective to your design after that let's select the text object again and go to edit then copy it and then again go to edit and paste in front okay now go to the layer options and from the layer option we can find here two long shadow objects two text objects with the transform effect applied so we are going to select this one the upper layer one and after selecting this we will go to our appearance panel and we are going to delete the apply transform part from the upper layer object and now we are going to change the color of this upper layer we are going to make it white okay then let's go to the layer panel again now let's select the second layer object which has the transform applied in it so, and go to the transparency tab make the opacity 50 you can make it 32 change the blending mode normal to multiply and you can see all the changes are applied 
now we are going to make a clipping mask to cut off the edges so let's create a rectangle and after that we need to create a clipping mask now let's select all the objects and after selecting all the objects let's go to the clipping mask and make clipping mask and you can apply this long shadow effect on any text object or any logo or any type of design you have and you can make long shadow of that design by following this simple procedures quickly in just some minutes i think this tutorial was a quite easy tutorial i have applied this in my cases of making long shadow designs i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching like the video share your comments on the comment section and don't forget to subscribe us